Hey, what's going on y'all? It's Percivis. Here is a tutorial video on how to create your own stream deck for Streamlabs or OBS Studio. There's a lot of other videos like this already, but I just want to make sure other people know that this is totally available instead of buying the big ass stream deck or even the stream deck mini which even costs like a hundred dollars it's insane so you can do this for like 10 bucks because walmart sells keyboards for ten dollars or you can get that little number pad you can find on amazon or something for like five bucks or something like that so I just want to make it more available to y'all as small streamers and entrepreneurs, I guess. All right. So to begin, we are going to go to hidmacros.eu. I'm going to have it in the description so y'all can see where y'all need to go and how to download it. Once you go to the website, you want to go to download download the version 2.3 don't click this I mean you can but that takes you to Lua macros you want to down download version 2.3 which is the version we are going to be using once you do that you're gonna open the download folder and then you're gonna save it somewhere safe you want to save it to I just saved it to my desktop make sure you extract all from that file and then put it in a different area so once you have this little area of your files you want to make you want to click on this hid macros.exe and run as administrator click yes boom boom skadop so once you do that you'll have this cool ass little area and i already have some macros made but i deleted one just to show y'all how to do it so once you have this screen you're going to want to click on new which creates a new macro and then you're going to name it whichever macro you want to use in your Streamlabs or OBS Studio. For this one I'm going to use my chat screen so I'm going to name it chat screen sorry if y'all can hear my keyboard um, and then what you want to do you want to scan for it I'm scanning my cue on my other keypad and then go to scripted if you do it through the predefined you're telling the computer a specific path which I mean sometimes takes longer actually no it definitely takes longer <laughs> so you want to go to scripted I'm gonna have this in the description you want to copy this I have it in all my other things as well I just name it differently and in this this is the name for the key you're pretty much making and we call it F13 because on a regular keyboard you have the max is function 12 and we're just pretty much continuing on that function so what we want to do we want to name it F13 or just F something F something you know and this the 50 is the time it takes for the app to put the hotkey into action so this is 50 milliseconds right here millis milliseconds milli milliseconds milliseconds and so after every macro you do you want to press compile down here and save configuration you want to make sure you do that or it just you just don't have it you know <laughs> So now we created our F13 on our other keypad. So what you want to do now, let's open up our hotkey panel. So I use Streamlabs OBS. I kind of want to make the switch to OBS Studio, but we'll see. But for this, you want to go to hotkeys. You can find it in OBS Studio as well. And you want to toggle down you want to scroll down to whichever one so since I'm doing scenes as my hotkeys I have scenes up and you want to scroll down to switch scene I already have it because I already did it so I switched to scene f13 skadoosh pow and then you can see I'm going to use it right now. Boom. 
skadoosh and i have my other hotkeys set up for my different scenes you can have different hotkeys as well for different things however you might need to do if you want to do other hotkeys for different apps then you're probably gonna have to do the pathing uh, situation that i was talking about I wanted to get this out there so more people know about this. It's very easy, you save a lot of more money, and you feel cool. I feel fucking cool. I feel like a hacker, but you don't really do much, you know? But I'll have everything in the description below. Please press that like button. Maybe comment. If you have any questions, just comment. I'll let you know. Subscribe, do anything, and shout out my Twitch. I stream on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, 7 p.m. Central, so I'm in Texas. Yeehaw! I'm in Texas, so make sure y'all check me out, and I appreciate that so much. Um, so, thank y'all, and I hope you have a great day. That was actually pretty cool. I mean... <laughs>